tuning in it's gonna be a good episode for you and also uh, as always we have a great sponsor dhm detox to save you from that uh, terrible hangover you're gonna have after you watch us play it's an all-natural herbal supplement pill that you take while drinking or before you go to bed and it's shown to reduce the side effects of alcohol the next day so give it a shot go to their website check them out enter pork t20 for 20 percent off start the episode start the episode guys topics do we I have, do have topics? topics? We've got topics. We've got topics. Uh, well, first of all, what episode is this? I never check ahead of time. 30. What, what's your guess, Corey? What episode number is this? 17. 39. 17? What's 17. your guess, Jerry? What? 13. Oh, what's your guess? Million. One million. That's the, that's the one. We knew that's it. One. We hit a million, guys. Got Congratulations. To a million episodes. Our millionth really episode, though. everybody. Congratulations to everybody for making it. It's actually episode number 14. Oh, um, man. That's what I said. You didn't say that, Doug. Uh, one dollar, Bob. One dollar, Bob. Uh, do you remember what our last podcast was, Jerry? Uh, mini tour. Uh, no, not mini tour. Nightfall. Think about this. No, that was the mini tour. Not, not that one. What did we play after Nightfall? A weekend or two after. Remember? Uh, come on. Come uh, on, Jerry. Come on. You've got this. Ragbri. No, that was backwards. Hey, uh, I'm supposed to, rag yeah, but don't talk boys. about ragbri right now. <laughs> okay. Jerry, you're probably not even in the camera anymore now. Oh, hey. Yeah, We're why just, do you say mom like that? Two you're things. This is the first time we've ever filmed a podcast, so you okay. might be watching this on YouTube. Is it a podcast now? Oh, it's, it's, is this a vlogcast? Mm -hmm. Vodcast? Vlogcast. So hello to everybody joining us on the YouTubes. Hi. Hey. My mom's probably the only person to watch me. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Jerry's mom. Hi, Number Kathy. two, mom. the last show that we played, the show we played after the last podcast was Manchester. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh, Sound of Heroes Super Show. Oh, yeah. Yes. Just, right. just a little story. I want to know Mason's opinion on this, but Mason, 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 <laughs> Mason. Mason. Apparently Mason. that's my new name. Sounds like a country singer. Mason. <laughs> okay, anyway. Anyway, Mason. Mason Grieve grew up in Manchester, Iowa. I did. And I'm going to tell the story as I remember it. Okay. Kind of a loner, mm. a rebel. Mm. Didn't oh, have wow. many friends. Okay. Was not okay. very well liked in high Trumpet school. Trumpet player. <laughs> Trumpet player. So then he huh? moves away. He moves to college, gets a cool fucking haircut, a beard, <laughs> a wife, buys a house, starts a band, buys a Hellcat. And now all of a sudden he's cool Mason Grieve. Got three million views of Tennessee whiskey. Was on The Voice, no big deal. Mm. Then he comes home mm -hmm. to Manchester to yep. play a show. And everyone goes, ah, I can remember him. We, we were, were friends. We were best friends. <laughs> remember when we hooked up that one time? <laughs> no. He's like, no, I don't remember. I tried no, I don't. to. Yeah. Mason, that's how I built it up my head. How was the homecoming show? That was the first time you played a show in Manchester. Put me like on the spot. Eight um, years. It was incredible. I think my, to sum it all up, I think my favorite moment was when my dad came up to me afterwards and he'd had a few <laughs> drinks. He, he looks at me and he goes, thanks for making me look cool in front of all my friends. <laughs> Like, you're welcome, Dad. Dude, your dad was weak. Yeah. He was. He was in the front row. Just. Did you see him? So it was a, it was like a bike gate, yeah. but it was a horizontal bike gate, like, to keep cattle well, out. Well, it was, it was a cat. It was, where, where there's it was like actually a foot, cattle gate. There's like a foot and a half gap there. I threw a drumstick at your dad because he's air drumming from mm -hmm. the front row. It hits his hand, falls down, right? And so, like, in between the gate and him. Yep. All he had to do was bend down, reach through, through the, the gate, through the gate, pick no. it up. He climbed the gate, <laughs> which was six feet <laughs> got the stick, climbed back over, and it was like on top of the gate going, Get it, man! <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> that's that's so that show was actually surprisingly awesome because you know it is a it was a small town and we had never ever been there before, had no idea what it was gonna be like. And um and so uh you know, twenty minutes before we get out there and I, I look outside and that whole like arena is full of dirt people. Pit. Dirt pit. Yeah. <laughs> dirt pit arena. I should let's let us clarify. Fantastic. But it's all full of people and I was like, Holy shit, yeah. this is gonna be awesome. It was awesome. And and uh, RGS Productions and Doug brought brought their A game and uh, made it look good and sound good. The hazer was a oh it was, that that whole night was magic. We got done there, I was like, this was way Awesome. They didn't mess around at all. No. They were like, we want the full package, whatever Ragbri got. <laughs> <laughs> whatever Ragbri got. Um, 
I'll get it. We want That's that. That's the standard now. Uh, we got a really good meme tweet after that show. Uh, an, old, an old man wrote on the Facebook said, he said, I want my $12 back. Worst show I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> so, so you know we're doing good. Sorry, so, Chester. Luckily, okay. people started chiming in. They're like, apparently you don't know how to read because there's plenty of description on what you were about to see. <laughs> It's like Mason's dad's mortal enemy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I wasn't friends with Mason's dad in high school, so now we're enemies, and I'm gonna badmouth the show. Yeah, your kid sucks. Yeah, kids suck. Kids suck. We also got to meet uh, one of our new favorite bands of that show, mm. Not Quite Brothers. Yeah. They they oh are God. they're what twenty year old dude nineteen to twenty one year old kids yeah that play, playing classic rock yeah sixties seventies they get it on was stage incredible with like who are these fucking kids and sure enough just their sound check drew we should have applause. we should have opened for them <laughs> it was so good Rad they sound checked yeah. with yeah. Rad yeah. Rad. Yeah. Rad. It was oh, so, good. so good four part harmonies and I'm just like nailing everything. Uh -huh. Two lead guitar players just crushing it. Well, Corey said, I think it was a Corey or Michael, one of you two said the cool part about that band was that they look how those bands looked when they were famous. Right. Where oh. most of most people that are playing those songs now, you know, you hear like the, oh, the Motley the, Crue and Van Halen. The 250 pound guy with shorts, with cargo, cargo shorts, shorts on. and like the, the <laughs> Kiva sandals on. True. And like, yeah. you so know. So they look like when they wrote yeah, those songs, like, that's what they look like. One of the guys had a fucking handkerchief hanging out of his back pocket like a badass. Yeah, perfect. I was like, oh my so god. Awesome. <laughs> so I, th I believe, uh, if you haven't checked those guys out, Not Quite Brothers. They are I believe, killer. I believe we have a special show announcement soon that we will be bringing those boys along, right, Corey? Yes. They're gonna be our hetero life mates. Mortal yeah. enemy hetero life mates. Yep. We've been looking for a young man. It doesn't seem like people, young guys play bands anymore. Like, no, no. Play bands? They play, play bands. bands. Yes. Play bands. Ugh. Yes, that's a thing. Now you get to watch me stumble over my words. Yeah, this is... You used to have to hear it. My <laughs> go, sorry, Mom. Ugh, sorry, Mom. Uh, what, what else happened since then? We also... Uh, we played the old barbecue again. Oh, barbecue. Remember barbecue? Oh, yeah. That was that was rough because... Uh, it rained all day. It rained, rained all, all day. All day. Oh, my God. And B-Twins B -twin, were our opener. And the best part was they had just come from Alaska. Yeah. They played 12 days... Three times a day, twelve days in a row, at the Alaska State Fair, and they got Good home. Lord. They 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 flew home, got in their van <laughs> in like Cedar Falls, and drove to Des Moines to play our show. Yeah. Hey boys, how are you? They get out of the van. We're like, what's yeah. going on? How was Alaska? We do not speak about Alaska. <laughs> 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 they were just like they're torn super up, super tired. That would be that would. Would you ever play the Alaska State Fair? It's brutal. Yes. Twelve days in oh, a no. row, three times a day. They have moose up there. Okay. Meese? Meese. Mooses? Moose. What? I don't know. Is it mooses? Yeah. I know it's just hard enough that half of them brought their mothers for moral support. Really? They did bring they them? They were in the van. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they that's drove? Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, well no, so they, they drove when they drove to the show. Just to oh, okay. Okay. Um, we also played uh, a doubleheader in Minnesota. Oh, yes. Canterbury oh, Racetrack. Yeah. And then the Vikings stadium. And then the Vikings stadium. Oh, nice. I want one, too. <laughs> Well, they can see now. You can just you don't. I don't want to make sure the audio is there. Uh, you know. oh, okay, sure. Cures, beverage of choice. Uh, but <laughs> so let uh, <laughs> Jerry tell me about the, the those special weekends, the juxtaposition weekends, where you go from the no one gives a fuck show to the everyone gives a fuck show, and how how much of a roller coaster that is. Um. So, can you ask me that question in a different way? Okay. So let, let's. <laughs> Can you Hi, just tell me the same say question? Say your name. Okay. We'll, we'll explain both Are the Are you going first. to the mall later? <laughs> no, Billy. Keep spelling. Ruru? No. <laughs> Okay, so what I mean is there's been many times in our life, I think we discussed this on the last podcast, how you go from nightfall on the river to, yeah, this is the one of the best shows of our people lives. paid right. all this money to see people us. People are there to see and us. And then you go purpose. to the show where people are not there to see us, which right. happened in Minnesota. The Canterbury Racetrack, what a cool place. There was uh, motorcycle racing. They were going yes. 180 miles an I hour. I finally got the last of the dirt out of most of my gear. <laughs> my, my dirt's still <laughs> Actually, everything. everything was just coated in dirt. Mm -hmm. But so we awesome. were just, uh, how do you explain that? We played 15 minute sets like every hour and a half when they were waiting for another race. For our happen. entire life. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
In between and, every race, we played 15 minutes. And not, let's just put it this way: the the motorcycle culture didn't like us. Here, can I show? Can I show the? <laughs> yeah, just show. Just show, show like them. Okay. Let me they show liked you. us okay. They just wanted us to play more. Let me show you what this is yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that? that's a solid 180 miles an hour, right? There's plots with this beautiful hair. Yeah. Yeah. So like. You can see it was like a solid production, really cool and stuff, but no one was there to see they the four there tornadoes to see us, at all. It but it was they like, imagine, imagine all those motorcycles flying by, and then a band gets up there and goes, here's some Taylor Swift. <laughs> here's some Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the, maybe the, that's the problem, is uh, we were the ones playing the wrong songs. Nope. I think yeah. you played the right songs. It was fantastic. Do you think so? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then you go from that, which was very fun. Also, Mason, I think, was drunker than I've seen him in a long time oh, in that show. Wow. That was because one of your buddies showed up, right? And you yep. started popping some shots. Yeah. Ugh. So I had, so I had, I had tipped the same bartender really well, like all day, getting my drinks, and then I, this this friend of mine showed up, and we went to the bar, and she like she wouldn't accept any more money. She was like, "Nope, I will pour you this shot," and she poured us like, literally like, probably four shots of Jameson in one glass as a shot, and we took that. We went back out to the track. We went back into the bar after we were done with the beers that we'd got after that shot and did that again. And then everybody was like, well, we should go home and go to bed. <laughs> we were Wait in the a car, second. remember? I am just starting. We well, were, me and Corey and Mike were in the truck yeah. waiting for Mason. I had to leave the hour. truck <laughs> to go find Mason. I was having an awesome time, okay? Yeah. And then the, the what the twenty minute ride to the, the to the Rodies Hotel. Oh Mason's just like, do you ever tell you the time that we did this? And then one time I did this, and I should tell you about this. And I'm talking really loud. It's so much fun. I'm having, we're having the best time. Yep. <laughs> but then you told some <laughs> you told some old man leaving a wedding at the hotel wait, that wait, his wife wait, was hold hot. On. Yep. So we pull up to we had two they, different they, hotels. They, they, we had two different hotels. Lady. And we came up to we let the Rodies off to their hotel. We checked them in. Then we had to leave to go to the next one. This was a very nice hotel. Doug and the roadies shouldn't have been staying in that nice hotel. Yeah, that was a good Can I at least say that, Doug? Yeah, we Doug, stayed, how was that? We stayed in the shit it was, hotel. It was very nice. It was better than our hotel. Anyway, yeah, by a long Mason's shot. sitting in my truck. I get back in. I go, time to go. And this really nice guy in a tux, an older guy in like a tux. <laughs> say it? Yeah, yeah, you say it. All right. Well, hold on. Let, you tell, say the line. The guy in the tux stand there with his wife. They were probably in their 50s. Looks like they had a nice night, nice dinner. They're of course. Waiting, they're waiting for their valet to show up. Mason rolls down the window and says, "While they're making direct eye contact, looking into each they're other's eyes, they're gazing into each other's eyes, longingly, clearly in having love, a beautiful moment, and probably going to do it for the first time in over 13 years." Mason yells, "Fuck her, she's hot!" <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> We were not in a place that I was worried about people remembering who the hell I was. So yeah, it was it, there was there was no more filter. I was just like, you know what? This is going to be funny. And, that, and that's why we don't have our logo on our trailer. Yep. yep. <laughs> exactly right. Jerry, oh God. in his dad voice, says, Mason. <laughs> Mason. Surprised Mason. He didn't, surprised he didn't middle name me. Mason Michael. <laughs> yeah. And of course, I drove away as fast as I could because that was embarrassing. But that that line that hurts. You know how many times you've been walking down a street in college, and somebody's like yells like, "Hey, fucking douchebag!" Like you're like, "Oh, fuck that guy." The only time I ever thought twice was nobody when knows I was that to me. Nobody says that to you. No, nobody even nobody's back in ever the day? said that to me nope. either. Some dude, I was this walking dude. with my college girlfriend. I can tell you're weak. He goes, fuck her, I did. And I was like, who was that? Do you, do you know him? Do you know him? Did do you he recognize you? I am sick of this. <laughs> Whatever. Do you recognize that car? Then, well, then we got to the hotel bar it's lobby. Subaru. And Mason's like, whiskeys. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Mason and I actually peed in the same toilet at the same time yep. that night, too. We got to the we got to the room, yep. and Mason's like, I have to pee. I was like, I have to pee. So he just barged in while I was peeing. We're peeing Who together. Looked? Who looked? I didn't look. I didn't look either. Yeah, right. We no. didn't look. Nope. Didn't even check out each other's I, I have respect for Mason. Right. How'd you not pee on the seat? We might have We're looking the at the seat. That's that's you just look straight forward. Yeah. You, well, you can still see. You know, out of your peripheral, you can kind of do one of these Whiffle. and still see the stream. Yeah. Uh, what What'd you think of the stream? Was it a good stream? It was, pretty it was real strong. It was a real right. solid stream. Cool. We didn't cross the streams. We know from Ghostbusters you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Unless you're supposed to. 
Well, yeah, unless you want to. The kill Zool. I had a buddy that. Um, <laughs> that's I had a buddy that. <laughs> Zool, the gatekeeper. Yeah. Are you the key master? I just watched that. Rick Moranis is awesome in that. Yep. Anyway, I had a buddy that when he was in high school, he used to go to the bathroom when he was at a girl's house, Gross. and he would push his stream out as hard as he could so that she would think he had a big dick. Oh, that was me. That was you? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. It worked every time. She was like, oh my god. That's that's a huge stream. That stream must be just coming out of a huge dick. You I guys don't do that? I used to pee on the rim so that you couldn't hear my pee. I don't like push on the side of the bowl. Dude, I, I actually you <laughs> right? do that. You don't want to, I don't want you to hear my pee. Well, especially when Mason's remodeling his house, didn't have a door on his bathroom for a little while. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I gotta do the quiet strategy here. Oh, the quiet strategy. That's where you sit and pee. Oh. Well, we got That's a little quiet. We got a little background music going on here. Uh, we're in Q Casino yeah. at Dubuque. Uh, Elizabeth Mary is our opening act. She is on stage now. That might be what you're hearing. Real name, yes or no? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's a first and middle name. Okay. You think so? For yeah. Elizabeth Mary? Like an unmarried photographer? Like Mason Michael would be his solo. Yeah. Photos by, I was gonna do photos by Danielle Marie. Yes, that's very that's <laughs> I was going to do strictly <laughs> acoustic 80s covers. I would go under Mason Michael. Strictly Mason Michael. Yep. And you would walk out to that Me and Michael song by MGMT. Me and Michael. <laughs> yep. So anyway, we're moving, we're moving on. The next day after a pretty uneventful show at Canterbury, oh, yes. we play the Vikings uh, tailgate. Minnesota US Vikings. Bank US Stadium. US Bank Stadium. Mason pukes before we get on stage yep. In, the, yep. in the bushes. Felt so after the that. best part is we, we have a crew that sets up all of our stuff. So, but we had to, we still had to be there at the same time as the crew because we had the truck and trailer, right? So we all ride in the truck and trailer to get there so the crew can get our stuff and start loading it on stage. And I'm just like, you know what? It's kind of chilly out this morning. I don't feel very good. I'm gonna take a nap in the front seat of the truck while things are getting loaded onto the stage. And turn the heat on to 100. I, I, I fell asleep <laughs> for probably what was 15 minutes, but felt like hours. And I woke up in just this just cold sweat the blood was just drained out of my face and I was just like, okay This is happening. So I get out <laughs> I get out and All the other guys are talking to like the crew from US Bank and like important people that want to like we're having important conversations having Important business conversations for this thing So I'm just trying to like make sure that I get out of the truck and away from everyone So nobody stops me to say anything <laughs> I literally, I beeline to the yes, back side. Voucher. I beeline to the back of the stage. There happens to be like this whole line of bushes with Mini enough space, evidence. with enough space to just like Fern. crouch in, in, in and under. And I got in and under and just, just lost it. Just fucking puked everywhere. And I'm sitting there and I was just like, okay, well, I tried to do that as best I could, but I knew that it had just gone down my beard. <laughs> and like, I didn't know if I had an extra shirt with me or not. I was just going to wear this shirt that I slept in that night to play the next show. And I'm looking, looking around and I just look over at the plants next to me and I, I picked some of the leaves and was trying to like wipe the puke from my face <laughs> with these leaves so I could at least get to the bathroom without and puke then, on my yes, face that yes. was across this parking lot. I was trying to get to the bathroom without puke on my face so I'm just like wiping them down and then finally I was just like fuck it and I just grabbed my shirt and wiped my face off and walked to the bathroom thankfully I had an extra t-shirt ready to go and then he went on and played a good and then we show. played a show so in that's front of, we heard so it's been that stadium has been around for three years we heard that that was the most people that have ever been mm -hmm. in the tailgate area for that long period Hell of time yeah. so I'd we say it was pretty them. successful we kept them they didn't go back they didn't go into the game as early as normal so it was, they stayed out and watched us play our show and then went into the game. It was pretty early, wouldn't yeah. you say? I heard Troy Aikman said, like, people are still filing into the stadium after the, uh, <laughs> yeah. some pork tenderloin they show. They talked about us, didn't Troy they? Yeah. Aikman. Troy, Troy Aikman. 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 Really? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't even know sports, but I know he has nothing to do with the Vikings. Remember Image? Well, he's like a, he's an NFL, like, a <laughs> co co sportscaster, commentator, listen, uh, person, talker. Okay. Fair enough. Sports They're, talker. Fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Uh, does, does he, yeah, sports, see? Does so I was like, the Cowboys the aren't though? playing from the 90s. He's like a national broadcaster. <laughs> he's like a national broadcaster. He's like the guy that says, oh, oh he's he's like that what you want to do oh, when you do hey, that screen pass. I preface, wanna... I preface this whole thing with I don't know sports. Sports! So forgive me if I don't know the announcers of sports either. Well, Next topic. No, well, what we did, though, very important to talk mm. about, we, re we recruited the drum line, uh, yes. the skull line, which was unbelievable. 
and I told the guy, I told their director, I said, dude, we should play a song. Wait, hold on. We should back up for a second. So the Minnesota Vikings, they have a thing called a skull line. Like skull is like, like cheers in Northern European Uh, Viking talk. (laughs) And so they have a thing called the skull line and it's, uh, it's basically just a drum line. And I I assume that they're, they were so good. Yeah. I assume it's like an unpaid volunteer kind of a thing where Doug's got a a photo of them. uh, Now that we have videos that are looking at the video. Oh, this yeah. is what they look like. Probably 40 guys, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> is that a selfie? Oh, that is Doug. <laughs> and also Doug's in there as well, as you can see. Uh, so they, they kind of are like, um, you know, contribute to the overall vibe and, and you know, play... play <laughs> Like get you pumped up and stuff. Oh, Uh, only only way better than what I just fucking the garbage that I just spewed out of my mouth. And um, and and so they they had sent like a skeleton crew to the day before at the Canterbury races. Um, They had they had sent like maybe six or seven drummers um, the day before at the the thing that we did the day before. And so we talked to them. We're like, hey, we should do a song together. And they were like, yeah, that's an awesome idea. So then Michael talked to the director. This is the best part is I went up to the director and go, we should do a song together. And he goes, oh, dude, I don't know. We got to, we got to go. We got to get in the stadium. I said, no, 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 no. We're going to go fucking viral. And he goes, viral? Let's go fucking viral. That's what he said. <laughs> and the best part is he went over to the guys and he told me, he goes, hey, come here. We're going to do in here tonight. Half of them were like... In the air tonight, but then the really young ones were like, "What's that? What? What's that?" And then you could see him. You could see the guy go, "Oh, you know, do 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 do." Who's go, oh, this yeah, Colin yeah, yeah. guy? <laughs> <laughs> And dude, that that was, I mean, like probably was, one of the coolest things we've ever done. In oh, yeah. So Rock early, it wasn't. Per- You've seen the video. It wasn't perfect. It was early in the morning. It's We're like still trying to play to a track. They're still following us. We've never practiced it, but it yep. was fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Don't be so hard on yourself. Huh? It, was it was good. It was great. It was awesome. Well, and then this is how we knew that video went viral. We were driving home, and it's like twenty thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand. Then all of a sudden, people from other states are sharing it. Then the meme tweets start coming in. Like that's how you fucking know you made it. Here's a couple for you. Uh, the drumline saved that sorry ass singing. <laughs> uh, need to lose all that electric guitar. Ruin the whole song. Yeah. How about someone? Someone punched the lead singer in the throat. That sounded like a cat fucking a tin roof garbage. <laughs> Drumline, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> Wait, question. What is a tin roof? Garbage? Are there any that weren't aimed directly at me? Well, well hold on. We're both, both singing, singing in that, that song. song. That's it's true, debatable that's true. who they're talking they're about. They're talking that's about true. me, of course. <laughs> Man, that guy singing sure did butcher the shit out of a good song. He sucks ass. <laughs> I mean, it's bit pitchy, dog. <laughs> bit pitchy, dog. Oh my god! I mean, there's I, and that's how you know you got viral is like when people start going like this. It's almost at a million. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Almost a million people have seen that drumline video. Remember when we did yeah. the One Direction video and then we started getting eaten alive by the people being like, "Those aren't the right words." You that's ruined not the right the words. words. And then we said that we kept uh, photoshopping that dude's face. What was his name? His name was like Blappy Doo Doo. I think it was. <laughs> it think, was no, JP. Think, oh shit! It was JP. Not JP Huff. Yeah, it was like, JP. Weird. And he's like JP. Actually, I'll, I'll put some names. Jabby Blue. Jabby Blue. Hey, show some. We're gonna have to we'll, show we'll some. Show some right we'll show some right now. Right You'll right see the images. Check this image out. We put his face on like a Giorgio Armani cologne ad. Yeah. And then by the end of it, like he liked he loved us. us. Yeah. Yeah. He hated us with his comments, and then we were funny, and he was like, "No, I love you guys." That's our move. <laughs> that's our fucking move. Oh well. Only last thing that's happened since uh, last time was Adventureland and Oktoberfest. Oh maybe. my god. The best show of the year every year. It, it, so much. You fun. think it's going to be a letdown at some point, right? No. Incorrect. So nope. let, let's recap the Adventureland. The first time was four years ago. We played in the beer garden tent. We played at like Gally. one o'clock. Rath- at like Rath one Skeller. o'clock, and the guy that was the bartender there still every year comes up to us. It's like, what do we got to do to get you back into Rasco? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he gave me ten mango white claws from big cans this year and goes, I know they're free anyway, <laughs> but I freaking love you guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do we got to do to get you back in my tent so I can make more money? Fantastic. That was year one. Then year okay. two, we played the Iowa Beer and Wine stage, yep. and like everybody was like flooding out the sides, and it was worse that's when we, than ever. Yeah, yeah, that's when we debuted Brightside and Ready for It. Yep. Yeah, I remember that specifically because Gov Mark Richter was there, and he's like, "Holy shit, man, this is a new <laughs> level." <laughs> Remember I cut my lip too? Oh yeah! Black everywhere. And there's that picture of you going... Because I'm, I'm bleeding. Nobody that, makes me bleed. That bird's all Nobody makes like, me bleed now. Yeah, you bleeding? Yeah, you bleed. Yeah, you bleed. <laughs> what, you and bleeding? then two, yeah, two yeah, years ago, bleeding. we played middle of the day on the main stage after Hanson. Mm-hmm. And then this year, fucking headliners, baby. Yeah, it was fucking Which sweet. Which is a pro and a con, because then we have to not like drink as much. We October played that. We installment. played that year. We played the the Budweiser tent after the Jim Blossoms were there. That was the year two. That was yeah. Iowa beer and wine. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. I prefer to play it like noon, so we can just get it over. Hey, question for you. Question for we'll you. Talk I love about all of it. your experience trying to let Hanson use your drum rack. <laughs> uh, we two years ago we showed up right at Hanson Soundcheck. And we're like, fuck, that's Hanson. And we were behind the stage loading in, and I hear the drummer, Zach, I believe is his name, Zach. He goes, oh, man, wouldn't it be great to have some rugs? We were promised rugs. Where's the rugs? And I said, oh, I'll be a nice guy. And I go, hey, Zach, we got rugs. You can use them. And he goes, oh, no, we're good. I said, but I just heard you asking for rugs. And he goes, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that they were bright pink? Yeah! <laughs> oh, you could totally see that they were bright pink. And he's like, I'm threatened by this guy's beard. Yeah, I think yeah. that that's definitely what it is. I think he saw the pink rug and was like, I ain't playing yeah. no fucking pink rugs. That's how he sounds? Sorry, Hanson. Yeah, cool, Hanson. Sorry our pink rugs make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, maybe Oom-bop it was playing Oombop in the middle of the set. Yeah, I could have They been didn't it. even end with Oombop. No, that was, that was a mistake. Just they're just kids. No, they're, they're not, kids. Doug. Not anymore. They're, they're like, like hundred. They're like older than you, Doug. That's <laughs> it. Uh, uh, That's really old. Who was the bands oh. this year though? Spin Doctors. Spin they Doctors. Were fucking awesome. No. Horizon. Yeah, Spin and Doctors then and then Vertical Horizon. Horizon. They were good, man. And oh they were super nice. Like they were really nice guys. They didn't if jump in their golf they, cart and run like, away. I already, I already was like a fan yes. of Vertical Horizon, right? But I didn't know a lot about them. But, like, that made me, like, a huge fan of theirs because they were still, like, extremely gracious and okay. happy to be playing music still, and it was incredible. <laughs> they were goofing around on stage and just having an awesome time. That was that was the coolest thing I've ever seen out of a band that's already been, like, Been to there, the top of the mountain. Been, been up there, and they're, they're, like, they might not be at the top of the mountain anymore, but they still play like they are, and it was, it was incredible. They oh, were, yeah. Like, and so. they took some time to talk to some of our friends that were, like, <clears throat> mega fans of them and, like, yeah. gave them signed pics and set lists and shit. Yeah. Shit. Do you think they say every chick though? I am everything you want. Yeah. You're a god and I, I like am those songs. Nice. It was supposed to be Smash Mouth. I think it, I think he just speaks it though. He just, he just goes, "You're a god and I'm everything you want." <laughs> isn't that isn't that Ghostbusters? <laughs> Are you a god? And he I goes, Zool. he goes, "No." Then die. They go, Ray, when someone asks you if you're a god, you always say yes. <laughs> There's too many Ghostbusters references in this single po- podcast. Well, it's almost Halloween, okay? Oh, so what's our upcoming shows? Next week? Actually, Halloween. Week you're hearing this? We got Halloween. You might be too late on tickets. There might be some left. Probably not. By Probably this point. not. There's like There's, 10. There's, There's like, like 10, 10 left at this point that you hear this. Yeah. Beyond that, we're going up to Doghouse November 9th. Yep. November 9th. See all our new Minnesota friends. Hell yeah. Yep. We'll and be and then we got surf, surf fucking ballroom November 29th we it's got, just surf ballroom no they changed it oh they're, they're trying to be okay. hit nowadays surf fucking ballroom SFB that's SFB, what the kids are calling dude. it <laughs> Woolies on November 30th and then fucking New Year's Eve at the roof garden yeah, yeah. garden Oka Brogy. the new roof garden looks sweet why do, we, why do we let him talk well did you hear did you hear him like Make say shit. Destiny's child at our I go, fest show. No, if you no, ever no, no, stop, no, I go. I will how many kill of you, you people like Destiny's Child? No, you didn't hear the rest. I go. I go. Destiny's Child. <laughs> Beyonce is. Uh. <laughs> no, you didn't even Beyonce. hear the rest. 
Happy All Sarah! Well, I think that's about it for us. Yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos. And if you didn't, fuck yourself. Yeah, if you didn't, eh, whatever. Yeah. Am I still wearing headphones? Fuck. Yeah, he's still wearing headphones. I look cool. Now I look cool, right? No. Yeah. Well, none yeah. of us look cool with headphones. Why don't we get headphones like Joe Rogan Podcast? Fuck, Mike. Because we only have two microphones for four oh, okay. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. Just trash all this whole thing. Just yeah. shut, cut it off. Fucking delete it. Cut it off. We're done. Bye. That's over. Bye. I love Bye. You, Mom.